Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Old school versus new school. Power and ISO versus pitch and catch. Get the athletes out in space. These two teams have contrasting styles, contrasting philosophies. One team obsessed with time of possession. The other one could care less about it. Who establishes its tempo will be a key today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. of Oklahoma State where we've got some exciting football on tap. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oklahoma State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Harris fields it at the 7. He's got the corner. Tackle made at the 27. Wildcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Fires that quickly incomplete. He's got his man across the middle. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Parker is back deep to return. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's tackled at the 44. Man, watch out here. And they make the stop at the 49. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 36. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. the 38 loss of two on the run by the halfback that'll bring up second and 11. we've got a second and 11. ball on the 38. they come out on an empty backfield slings it left and it's going the other way it's the senior corner 
I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From their own 19-yard line, first down. Gives it up the gut. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. That's a eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Fight, fight. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. First and 10, ball on the 46. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Denman's the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 30-yard line, first down. The Wildcats running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Takes it right and brought down right away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Five, five. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Fires it out. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. Number 19 brings him down at the 26-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Caught out in the open. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. They get a good seven yards on that one. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. Fires 
quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Quick pass, and they push him out around the 45-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver. Look. They need to get it down to the 37. in the backfield with five wideouts. And they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Him hard at the 13-yard line. Alexander with the tackle at the 13-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Tackle at the two. to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From the two-yard line, second down. Defense and their short yardage package. Run, run, run. Touchdown, OSU! plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Harris fields at the goal line, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game, seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they got him for a loss.
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Here's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Dukes to punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oklahoma State is up by a touchdown. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Come on. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. They'll spread the field with five wide. He wants it all going long. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. complete he's got space to work and he's tackled around the 33 yard line that's a nice six yard gain well he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch they need about three yards to get the first here on second down makes the first down catch and he is drilled at the 43 first down He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. That brings us second and nine. From their own 45 yard line. Second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That makes us third and 15. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. He airs it out. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. Kansas State will have one timeout remaining. him down for a loss. Makes it out to about the 10. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the four. He scrambled, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. 
The Sooners come into today's game the fifth-ranked team in the country. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. Oklahoma has the edge, 23-21. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Morris from the five gets to about the 27-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So we've played two quarters. We're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. A stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. Morris from the four. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Slings it. Call it a loss of one yard on a play. That makes it third and 11. From their own 29-yard line, third down. He's in trouble. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. That brings us fourth and eleven. Quinn is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 47. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's taken down at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. First down. He has some room. 
There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. From the 27 yard line, first down. The throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That ends up second and nine. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he shoved out of bounds at the 21 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. at the 23-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. He's scrambling. And they got him. And they'll fail on fourth down. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. At about the 37 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And he's taken down at about the 45. That's good enough for another Oklahoma State. Let's go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. In the shotgun and five wideouts. to the running back and he pulls in another one. Tackle at the 15. out to about the 15 yard line. No game. That'll make it a third and nine. Here we go, here we go. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Red, two, two, two. Bring it out. Bro's 
complete touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Sooners entered the game ranked in the top five in the nation. Teams ranked just behind them, starting to apply the heat. Can they hold their spot at number five? This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, they're looking to win two in a row. The Sooners on top by 16. Early moments of the fourth quarter. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Atkinson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the seven. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 32-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He throws it. And it's intercepted. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 14-7, Oklahoma State. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Oklahoma State up seven points. Nice run, and he's brought down. Fires quickly to the fullback, and he's stopped behind the line. Number 19 takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 25 yard line. Third down. Let's pick it up. It's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Throws falling back and finds his man. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26 yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll make it fourth and six. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, 48. Red, two, go! Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And they'll take over on downs. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 41-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Nice run there. Boy, get six yards on the carry. That'll bring up second and three. And 
and they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 46-yard line, it's third down. Steps out of bounds around the 49-yard line. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Just under three to go in regulation. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And so now the ball's turned over on down. This time the offense isn't successful in fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Tell you what, the defense was sold on the pass there. From the 20 yard line, first down, less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Got an opening. He makes his way out to about the 12. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. the middle for a nice game. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. It really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game.
The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a trip out to Corvallis. In the pregame, David and I thought this was impossible, but look what's happened. A major upset is now complete. The Beavers get the W by 11. Elsewhere, we've been watching what's happening in Columbia. And for Lawrence, a good day. More than 200 yards passing. The Tigers win it. 34-24. Two touchdown ball game here. Reese, 21-7. Oklahoma State to kick this one off. Upshaw takes it from the six. He's tackled at the 27. Oklahoma State's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 37. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's level at the 45-yard line. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Here they come. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats, so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. Throws it deep. He's hit and taken down. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 21-7, Cowboy. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.